The staff club of First National Bank paid a special, special visit to the Holy Family Children's Home in Cicero during the uh, independent celebrations. The team, accompanied by family, presented food hampers and gift certificates to the director of the home on behalf of the children. The First National Bank Staff Club proves that it's more than just the internal social arm of the bank, but an extension of the bank's community outreach drive as well. Over the Independence Weekend, members of the Staff Club and a few of the children paid visit to the Holy Family Children's Home in Cicero, where they donated an assortment of food hampers and gift certificates. According to Mrs. Erlin Ogeest, the club is committed to not just providing food and clothing, but also to spending quality time with the children. We have been, as a bank, have been affiliated with this institution for many years now. However, last year, normally the staff club would have the end of year party. As anything else, one of our staff decided, but why not give back instead of having a party? So we, the staff, decided to put funds together, together with the bank, to give to the Holy Children's Home. In our house, as I said, a very small token. Director of the Holy Family Children's Home, Sister Antonia David, accepted the gifts on behalf of the children and expressed her gratitude for the initiative. This is a new relationship with the staff club of First National Bank and we're very grateful for such an initiative. We're always happy when persons, especially when we see young persons, um, come up with initiatives like that to give back to the children of our society. And we are very grateful for that. Um, we encourage others to do the same because in reaching out, then one helping the other, our nation will be a better place. The Holy Family Children's Home in Cicero was founded in 1997 and provides a loving, secure and temporary environment for children who have been abandoned, often neglected or abused. When we come back, new guidelines for the consumption of sugar.